are here. We are en route to paradise. Well, we are in the port of Galveston. We are about to board the Carnival Breeze. And this time we have a whole bunch of folks with us. We got the kids, we got the grandkids. This is the cast of this week's video right here. You'll get to meet these crazy kids, but uh, we got all the kids with us. This is gonna be fun. Let's get on the ship. Okay, we're getting the family organized, everyone with boarding passes and passports in hand so we can streamline this process onto the ship. Who's excited? I am. Yes, sir. Look cold, little windy out. <laughs> is, this, is this the first trip? Yep. First time out the country, first ship. Well, I know I'm excited because I got all my kids with me. I get to cruise all the time. This is going to be really special because we got the gang with us. We made it through security, and uh, we had to wait for everybody to get back together again. Had to use bathrooms and stuff. The canine dogs sniffed us out a couple of good times, but we're safe. We made it on. Oh yeah, must have been the granola bars. Let's see the Mardi Gras dresses. Mardi Gras, happy Mardi Gras, happy, happy Mardi Gras. Happy Fat Tuesday. Gangway dance, gangway dance, gangway dance. Go girls, go girls. What do you think, Kim? You ready? Yeah, I'm excited. She says, I don't want to be on that camera. Guess what? Here I am. Here you are. On the ship we made it we got the family we got the fam we're excited i love it can't wait i'm ready to go we are getting muster out of the way we've got to do the presentation at the theater after that i gotta go down and scan in and then we're good because for some reason i have a different muster which is strange boom we are in our room we have an interior this time quite different than the infinite balcony we just had on the icon of the seas but that's okay because it's cozy and there's pillows and there's blankets and it's gonna be just nice. So uh, I guess our cabin steward missed the memo that we <laughs> need one bed. We have twins right now, yeah. so we will have to get that part We got fixed. twins and we have twins we have with twins. us too. Yeah. We got our twin boys with us and we have twin beds. <laughs> okay, so we have landed at Guy's Burger, obviously, because we're hungry. And Sophia, what do you think? Very first time on a ship. Yeah, the first thing she said was, Pop Pop, are you gonna do the water slide with me? And I'm like, yeah, of course I'll do the water slide with you. But when we get a little bit further out into the Caribbean. Well, first meal on Carnival Breeze has to be a guy's burger, right? That's what I was saying. So we've got that. I can tell you what's strange. Look how thick these pickles are. The pickles are usually like shaved thin, so that's gonna be different. I'm curious to see if this is the same type of burger we're used to. Little scour done got the bucket of beer, sloppy one out of there, Scott. Let's face it, we can't sell away properly without a bucket of beer. Oh, the first ice cream! Okay. Now who poured yours? Nuh-uh. She did. Really? Yeah, she who did poured it yours? Herself. She did, she helped me. How's it taste? Did you get Froyo or soft serve? Froyo. How many ice cream cones are we gonna eat at Two thousand fifty-four. What? A lot, of, a doctors, lot of ice cream. A lot of doctor's visits. A whole lot of ice cream. I love it. The girls are like, there's a basketball court and workout machines. I love it. They've never seen this before. Yeah, we're out exploring the ship now. The, you know, ships are huge. We've got three first time cruisers with us. So we're taking them and showing them what all is on a cruise ship, where everything is on this ship, and re familiarizing ourselves because it's been six years since we've been on this ship. Y'all are going to play? Yep, we're going to play. The music is, is jamming. We got some uh, Mardi Gras tunes happening. Got that funky second line jazz 
is happening. It's feeling good. People are in the Mardi Gras spirit. Tomorrow is Fat Tuesday. It's going to be awesome. to come to Camp it. Ocean and let the kids check out Kids Club. I don't think they're going to stay in here today, but we just want to get them familiar with where Kids Club is and what all they offer, so, like, you know, when they want to come to camp. Because we all have spa cabins, so all the adults have passes to the thermal suite, which the children are not allowed in. So, they're going to come to Kids Club at least a little bit during this cruise. What are we about to do? We're about to go into Kids Quest. Ellen and Sophia celebrating their birthday today. Oh, oh my goodness. Two princess, for you? All right, lovely ladies and gentlemen, lovely two princesses celebrating their birthday today. Madeline and Sophia on the count of three. One, two, and ten. Happy birthday to you. good first night on the cruise ship. We left the camera in the cabin, took the kids to dinner. Everyone decided they wanted to go to the main dining room. So we sat down, had a great dinner. The The waiter, God, I couldn't think of what it's called. The waiter got the girls up and got them dancing and their birthdays are coming up soon. So he brought them a special happy birthday. So that was pretty cool having that as part of our dinner. But we we're going to unpack and call it a night because, you know, travel days can be tiring. So we have a sea day tomorrow and we are going to relax, enjoy the spa, enjoy the slides with the kids and all that good stuff uh, around the ship. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And now a quick word from our sponsors. So I am loving my AG1. Athletic Greens has been so good for me. I have increased energy. My gut health is better than it has been. Trying to make healthy choices and cooking healthy can be complicated, especially when you're out on the road like us. And so AG1 is the perfect supplement for me. This way I can get all of those crucial vitamins and minerals and nutrients that my body needs very easily. The ingredients in AG1 are selected for how easy they are to absorb, for their potency and for the presence of hard to get nutrients. There are 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients to support optimum health of the brain, body, and gut. It supports by soothing easy to absorb ingredients that boost digestion and help ease bloating. AG1 really helps me focus and it gives me a sustained energy with the adaptogens and the B vitamin support that I get from it. Um, I get all this energy without the caffeine crash that, you know, like I get from coffee. With the prebiotics and the probiotics and plant-based enzymes, it really helps uh, support the digestive regularity and overall gut health. I can confidently say that my digestion feels better than it ever has. I have a more sustained energy and overall, I, I just feel better. What I have here is the AG1 Welcome Kit, and it includes five travel packs and one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2. It comes with a cool little container that I can put my AG1 in and a shaker cup. So here's what you do. Uh, step one, add one scoop or a travel pack to eight to 10 ounces of cold water, then shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Then enjoy. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised how delicious this stuff tastes. Oh, and it smells really good too. And just a little tip, 
after you add your AG1 to your container, make sure that you refrigerate it because AG1 uses whole food sources and to maintain that maximum freshness, you wanna refrigerate that. Yep, I'm loving it. AG1 rocks, it's been great for me. I feel wonderful, I highly recommend it. Enjoy. Good morning from Cozumel. It is a beautiful day. We're almost there. We're cruising in right now. This is day three of the family cruise here on the Carnival Breeze. We have thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. We haven't vlogged much. <laughs> Yesterday we didn't vlog at all. You know, just doing some family time, which is much needed. Uh, we've been enjoying it tremendously though. Today is gonna be pretty awesome because we are all going to spend the day at Paradise Beach Club, all-inclusive resort for the day. So this is the first time all the kids have been to Mexico <laughs> out of the country. Um, this is a, a, lot, a first for all the kids, pretty much. Being on a cruise ship, being in Mexico, well, for some of the kids anyway. Um, anyway, this is gonna be fun. The weather, like I said, is fantastic. It's like, it's winter in the Caribbean. It's uh, 81 degrees right now. The sun is out. It's not that melt your face hot like we're used to in uh, Cozumel. This is quite comfortable, but hot enough where you wanna get in the water. I'm looking forward to spending the day on the beach with the family, eating all the tacos and coconut shrimp and ah, drinking all the rum punches. It's gonna be a good day. And it looks like we got two ships at port already. We got one behind us. Wow, could be four ships at port today. Maybe even more, who knows. It's gonna be busy in Cozumel. There's more cruise ships than I thought. We got one behind us, not sure what that is. That right over there, that's the NCL Prima. I've been on that. I was on the inaugural on that one. That is an awesome ship. We have one in front of us, a carnival ship. Not sure what that is. And then two right over here at port. Two, three, four, five, plus us, six. Wow, it's gonna be a busy day at port. Look, rise and shine. Hello. The gang is wakening up. Hey, come here, good vibes. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Look good here. Good morning. She just love her hat. Good morning. You ready for Mexico? Yes, I'm so ready. Very first time in Mexico. <laughs> we are pulling in. The water is clear as ever. So many beautiful ships around us. Oh man, it is buzzing. You ready? I'm ready. So when we get off, we're gonna go straight to the beach, right? We sure are. We're going to Paradise Beach Club for the day. Yeah! So excited. Off we go. Time to get into Cozumel. Mine's gonna go on. It's Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Yes, we're yeah. starting! We are here. We are en route to Paradise. Onward. Well, you most definitely want to pack your patient pants when you get to the taxi line here in Cozumel because it's wrapping around and around and around. It's moving, but it's a long line to get a taxi. Beach, look, this is our spot for the day. So our waiter, he said, okay, I'm gonna get you started with a sampler platter. I'm just gonna bring a little bit of food. And this is what he brought. A spread. <laughs> a spread, so Looks we- like last supper. I know, so we're settled in. We've got our spot under the palm trees. The water's right there, the pool is right there. Okay, so I don't like guacamole, except in Mexico, because it's so absolutely fresh here. That's so good. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. Coconut trim? Mm -hmm. Is that good walk? Yeah. yeah that's, that's fresh made, you can yeah. tell. It's good. Some of the last 
everyone's here at Paradise Beach. It's about three o'clock and we are done for the day and it's time to head back to port. Kids wanna do a little bit of shopping before we get back on the ship. But it's been a great day here in Mexico. Well, we are back home from Carnival Breeze. We had a great time with our family and we decided not to record as much as we normally would on a trip because we were spending time with our family. But I wanted to just point out a couple of things that we didn't have our camera there. We're like, dang, I wish we had the camera because a few things just really stood out to us. Number one, Progresso was awesome. Like we haven't been to Progresso in 10 years and it is not at all like I remember it to be. They've really built that area up. They've built a brand new port. You're kind of out from the town and there are free shuttles that take you to and from. And we had the best taco experience of our lives there in Progresso. So we get into downtown Progresso and we break out the maps to find out, you know, where is the best taco shop? And we find one, the menu is completely in Spanish. The prices are in pesos. The person making the tacos barely speaks any English, but we figured out how to order tacos. And we had 10 of us there and we ordered about, I don't know, 30 tacos. And it was ridiculously good. Like the tacos were amazing. We tried all different types. They didn't have any pollo chicken. Um, they only had carne asada and they had another type that I don't even know what it was, but it was delicious and they were very inexpensive. So for like 30 tacos, it was 50 bucks. So that's like $1.50 a taco. I thought that, and they were big, fat, delicious tacos. So if you were thinking about going to Progresso, here's a picture of the taco place. You gotta go find it. It was really, really good. And I'll tell you that like, people who are cruising out of Galveston um, for a short four or five day cruise, for a four day, you're just going to Cozumel, but for a five day, you'll see itineraries that have Costa Maya or Progresso. And a lot of people are like, ah, oh, Progresso, I don't wanna go there. And they look for those itineraries with Costa Maya. Don't do that. Progresso also was really enjoyable and it's a place I'll definitely go to again. So I just wanted to give that little plug to Progresso because we haven't been there in so long and we don't have any videos on Progresso because that was before we started vlogging. And then just around the ship, we had a great time. We are not main dining room people, as you know, if you watch our vlogs, but we spent almost every night of this cruise in the main dining room with our family. I think having that family environment makes it different. When it's just me and Jason on a cruise, we just wanna get in, get dinner and be done. We don't want the whole fancy experience, but having the kids there, having the grandkids there, and we had the best waiters I have ever had on any cruise ship. I am not exaggerating. They were fantastic. We had any time dining, but we liked them so much that they said, as long as we show up at the same time every day, that this is your table, this is your wait staff, which was fantastic. We really, really enjoyed the MDR experience and the food was good. Like Carnival's really stepped up their game on food. Like a year or two ago, we complained about carnival food a lot, you know, but everything we had was good. Every night we went into the MDR and ate, we had a great experience and the kids were like, this is awesome. I don't know what y'all were talking about, about preparing us for bad food. This is good food. And Emily, who me and her went on a Disney cruise last year, she said that the food was better than Disney. So just goes to show you, you know, things are on the up and up and we really had a great time on the breeze. I will tell you, the ship needs a little TLC. It's, it hasn't been in dry dock in a long time and it's showing a little wear and tear here and there. The hull's gotten its new uh, fancy paint job, but the, the ship itself does need a little TLC. So just kind of FYI, if you're booking a cruise on the breeze, just be prepared for that. But overall, we had a fabulous 
time with our kids and that's really what it's all about and we are going to try and do these trips every year um we've really enjoyed them and getting all the family together and we're going to try really hard to work around ethan's military schedule next year so him and his family can be there as part of it as well so we hope you've enjoyed this very short video of our cruise on the carnival breeze it is the one and only we haven't done that in a very long time but this is the one and only video so if you did like it please give it a thumbs up if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and we'll see you next time. Bye. Happy cruising.